Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I'm going to tell you what I watched from October the 10th through the 16th. So I am watching one horror movie a day throughout the um, month of October. Some days I am able to watch more than one, depending on the day of the week. So I do have quite a bit to talk about. First up, we have The Frighteners. This right here was a first time watch for me. Really enjoyed this one. I've been wanting to see this for a while now. I've heard a lot of people talking about this one. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a really fun, kind of remind me a little bit of Ghostbusters um, because of the comedy, I, I do believe. But a really good movie. I definitely um, like this one. So definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. Okay, next one is one that I've watched before and it is Fright Night. I really enjoy Fright Night. It's a great vampire story. Um, I just enjoy everything about it. The atmosphere, the acting, the comedy, just everything about it was really good. The special effects, the practical effects, just a really good movie. If you have never seen Fright Night, the original, definitely check that one out. So on the third day, I watched a movie called Let's Scare Julie. I'm just going to put a picture of the cover art up here. It is a Scream Factory release. Um, anyways, it was a found footage film. It wasn't one of my favorites. I ended up selling it on eBay since I watched it. That's how bad it was. Um, it had some good moments in it, but overall it was not a very good film. Um, if you've seen it, leave me a comment. Let me know what your thoughts about Let's Scare Julie. Um, I did not like it at all. There was, there was a few scenes that were okay, but for the most part it was pretty hard to get through. Okay, on the next day I watched a film called Let Me In. Now this right here was a great film. I really enjoyed this one. Um, another vampire type movie. I'd never seen this one before. I finally opened it up. Great acting, great performances, um, very atmospheric, lots of great special effects, um, scares. It was overall just perfect in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. If you've never seen Let Me In, definitely check that out. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, the next movie I watched is a ghost story um, based on a true story. It's called The Haunting in Connecticut. Um, I had some recommendations to check this one out. I did have it in the collection, so I opened it up. I watched it. Um, overall, it was okay. It wasn't nothing really special. It had some good moments in it. I do like the um, true, um, I do like the ghost tales based on true stories, so I did enjoy that aspect of it. Um, but if you've never seen it, um, it's at least worth watching once. Um, the Haunting in Connecticut. Okay. Um, the next movie I watched, which was on Friday, I went and watched Halloween Kills. Um, I was very excited about seeing Halloween Kills, really looking forward to it, really anticipating it. It wasn't a terrible movie, but in my opinion, it wasn't a very good movie either. Um, it was just okay. I'm not disappointed that I went and saw it but it wasn't the best Halloween movie out there. Um, so anyway, that was my opinion, but I did go see Halloween Kills. I'm glad that I got to see it. Hopefully you got to see it. Um, I would really um, like to see what you have to say about it down in the comments below, but don't, don't be too harsh on me for not liking it. Okay, next up on the 16th, which was Saturday, I watched two movies. I watched Pet Cemetery. Um, this right here is the original. 30th anniversary edition. I watched the 4K release. This was my second or third time viewing this movie. Um, the first time watching it in a very long time. I, I really enjoyed Pet Cemetery. This is a Stephen King movie based on a Stephen King novel that he also wrote the screenplay for for this um, 1989 version. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was um, fun to watch. Um, watching it after all these years, the, the acting was pretty bad in my opinion. Um, Overall, the acting wasn't very good, except for um, one character, which I really enjoyed, and that was Judd, played by Fred Gwynn. I always enjoyed him. I always enjoyed seeing him in something different than Herman Monster. Um, so um, I watched that, enjoyed watching it again. And then the second movie I watched on the 16th was the sequel or the, the re-imaging of Pet Cemetery from 2019. Um, I watched this one. I actually enjoyed this one. I heard a lot of bad things about it. Um, for the most part, the story, the characters are just a, pretty much about the same. Um, they do go a little bit deeper into it in this movie. Um, I found this one to be really good. 
I did, I was okay with the changes they, they had made in this particular film. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video of um, Pet Cemetery 2019 versus Pet Cemetery 1989. So I'll be looking for that video here in the future. But those are all the movies that I watched um, during the week of October the 10th through the 16th. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular movies that I watched. Um, maybe give me some recommendations of some uh, movies that you would suggest that I watch here in the next few weeks. I really do enjoy reading your comments and I do appreciate your suggestions. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.